Welcome back to the Headbangers Ball. It is our Donington Monsters of Rock special 94, bringing you all the action on stage and behind the scenes. And uh, these guys making a welcome return to Europe. After quite an absence, I'm joined by Nuno and Gary from Extreme. You know these guys very well. So uh, nice to see you. Welcome back to Europe and Headbangers Ball. Uh, how are you feeling today? Good. A bit hungry, but good. Good. <laughs> Good. Okay, they're good. I'm sorry, just the, the roar. <laughs> yes, it's Pantera going on stage, so quite a noise coming from the stage there. Now, you've been doing some um, festivals around Europe with Aerosmith. You've got your new drummer, Mike Mang Mangini. Mangini, that's the correct pronunciation. So, um, so just t tell me, really, how things have been going with these shows and the new drummer. Very lucky enough to get on the Aerosmith tour. We've been yeah. waiting for that for a few years, and uh, that's been going good, doing some festivals. Mike Mangini's our new drummer. Um, no hype. He's incredible. That's it. He's a great drummer. Yeah, great cook. Yes. Yeah. He's a bit of a character as well, because oh, I met him at Rock M Ring. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's not allowed to talk to me yet. Yeah, yeah. He hasn't yeah. met Gary yet. No. No. We, we, had to, we had to audition him and Pat. So, um, just quickly for the record, why um, why did Paul leave the band? Is that uh, was an amicable arrangement? You know, somebody said to him, you know what, you guys are playing Donington, you're going after, on after Pantera, I'm leaving the band. <laughs> There's just no way I'm going on after Pantera. No, I mean, uh, no, he just he just got more involved in the business side of uh, the music, mm -hmm. music, music business actually, and we were definitely drifting more the other way. You know, we definitely get, we feel better than ever, and we feel like we're growing still. And uh, so that's when Michael came in to make it. Long story short, sorry, just saw my mother over there. Just kidding. <laughs> So Mike actually um, was in Annihilator. I think he played on their last yeah, album. He did. Yeah, he did. In Tord, he did Dynamo Festival. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. So um, this is a kind of little bit of a strange situation for you because you've just finished recording your new album, which I believe is called Waiting for the Punchline. You are correct. I am. I am correct in that. Um, it is correct. So now you've come over to Europe, but you haven't got the, the, no product out apart from the, the first single. So um, how are you going to be approaching today's show? Are you going to be how much new stuff are you going to be playing? Uh, we're going to be playing just like two, two or three new tracks, I'd say. And that you know, but today I think is more of a different day. Mm -hmm. Today is where Extreme gets to gets to perform in front of a crowd who probably probably a lot of people haven't seen us live, yeah. and that probably don't know what we're about, you know. And, uh, I think it's good because we're getting a vibe as we're going through all these interviews that you know the band that shouldn't be on the bill. So it's good. It's good to be here so we can you know you know get get rid of this music Olympics vibe. You know, oh, somebody the yeah. toughest man wins. You know, Pantera, Hail Satan. You know, wins or or Extreme is going to win. Which you know we're just going to go up and do our thing. People are saying you're going to do more than words. You're not going to. So the heck it's a good it. variety of bands. And you know when we we were doing the Aerosmith tour and Donington came up and people were talking about the heavy stuff and all that. It's as far as we're concerned, any any uh, bill that Aerosmith's on, Extreme can be on, yeah, and heaviness has nothing to do with uh, yeah, heaviness. Loudness. Heaviness is up here and here. It's not a, it's not about how many uh, Marshall stacks you have. You know. But I'd like this interview to get over so I can go see Pantera, because uh, <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see him. No, no. I'm okay. Cool. Well, that's a good attitude to have. Definitely. <laughs> good for you. Um, did Paul play on the new record? He did. Uh, we, the decision in the, you know, the amicable split came up during uh, during the recording of the record. So with Michael now, new inspiration, we've actually written a few more songs, so now we're going to rush back. We're stopping our tour early, uh, we're, we're sad to say, because if we don't go back now and record these tracks with Michael, the record won't come out this year. So we had some dates planned uh, at the end of the Sarasmith run, and we just, we'd just rather have the record come out this year so we can get back here in the winter, you know, back to Europe and the UK. So a very creative period for Extreme yeah. by the sound of it. Yeah. Give us a little preview of the material that you have uh, laid down. Is it going back? Can you sing it right now? Yeah, go on. <laughs> Somewhere <laughs> over the rainbow. A little preview? What? Um, just really, is it, is it going back to kind of more like porno oh. graffiti or...? No, I think, uh, I don't think we'd ever go back to anything. It's just, um... It's just another natural evolution for the band. Um, you know, just like Three Sides didn't sound like uh, Porno Graffiti, Waiting for the Punchline doesn't really sound like Three, three Sides. sides. But, um, you know, we don't do anything different. We write we write songs like we always done. The only, the biggest difference would be the production. Um, our approach to the production, uh, Nuno producing the record, we uh, recorded in a big room and, it, and it's closest to what we sound like live. Right. And it, it, but still controlled. It's yeah. obviously it's, not a live. It's basically, we were rehearsing for the tour and we said, geez, it sounds so great here. Let's just get this. Why do we always have to go in the studio? It sounds like you're in a studio. So yeah. I think we get the closest vibe to us being on stage as we could, anyways. But I think it's a, I think it's a heavier record. Um, 
I think lyrically and musically uh, the band has gotten better so that's how we feel so we're excited to put it out we wish we had something out now uh, Vanessa's but, um, panicking we'll, we'll be back long answer. we'll be back <laughs> well we will be back right after this live performance from Extreme here they are at Donington 1994 Here at Donington, Gary's looking for, uh, it's like the end of the Rocky movie, you know, he's looking for Adrian, but uh, he's okay now, he's here. I'm okay. He's okay. Yeah, this is Nuno and Gary from Extreme, we're talking about their new album, Waiting for the Punchline, it's not out until the end of the year, unfortunately, oh, September. 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 But there is a single, There Is No God, there is and no God. Uh, there is no video. Actually, you know, um, we wanted to do a video, damn it. Normally we wouldn't put something out so soon. We'd wait probably till the summer, but we got the we got the Aerosmith tour and we wanted. They to made come. us do it. Yeah, no, we wanted to come to Europe, and 
it would have felt stupid if we didn't have any new stuff out. So it's a little premature, but we just released a, a track. Mm -hmm. It's we don't consider it a single single or anything. It's just something to introduce people to the new to the new record. I guess you could call it a single. <laughs> And are you playing that song today at Donington? No, no, we are not playing it today. We've been playing it live, and we just, you know, we're in, we're still in that mode where um, we just can't seem to because we know the record's not done and it's not out. We can't seem to just be really excited to play this. We're playing a couple of new ones, but that one we're not. It's just tough to get okay. into the mode of a new record when it's not yeah, we out. We don't know it. Yet. I know, I know. We don't know it yet. <laughs> we have to learn it now. Now, for the last two albums, Porno Graffiti and Three Sides, in some ways they could they had like a loose concept to them. Um, has this new album got any theme running through it? No, it's just loose. It's loose. No concept, <laughs> just loose. loose. It's like uh, Gary, loose. Very loose. <laughs> no, uh, just a record, uh, 11 or 12 songs. That's about it. Um, some songs were written... Uh, close to each other, so I'm sure there's a connection, but um, unconsciously. Yeah. You know. the only, there's an amazing guitar piece on it, you gotta check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. No, there's a piece that we've been doing on tour for the last two years, I finally oh, got yeah, it. I didn't, didn't fit on the last record, so. Oh, is that the Bumblebee? No, it's uh, called Midnight Express. It's just an acoustic, acoustic, Latino, Turkish prison kind of setting vibe. Fantastic. Yeah. Yes. Oh, good. Okay. Well, uh, I thought sort of return back to Donington a little bit, actually. I mean, what is what do you see as the, the biggest challenge of playing here today? Is it just kind of I think coming back to... Yeah. Dodging cups, yeah. We've been looking forward to this. We're very good Dodgers. Yes. You know, as you might have heard, the Los Angeles Dodgers, we... Yes. We've we're very good we're, we're doing calisthenics in the back and we're working on uh, we're ready but we're also the, the, our best defense to that is we're, we're filling up ourselves yeah mm -hmm. we're getting to go back we got some ammo filled up for the whole day <laughs> so, you know the, what so you've heard a few stories about Donington yeah, yeah. but uh, you know we've been through we, we've done a lot of festivals in Europe I'm sure this is very unique and uh, what's this, is this the 15th year it's the 14th the 14th year so uh, you know um, we're glad we're on this and hopefully someday we'll headline it someday yeah. who knows yeah, I mean, uh, well, maybe like, we'll start the show. Who knows? <laughs> start it with more than words. Yeah, well, that's funny because people have been saying, asking if we're going to do that song, which is a dumb question. Of course, we're not going to do that song. No, yeah, we are doing that song. <laughs> well, of course, the festival is a completely different vibe, isn't it? And yeah, yeah, you got to do it. I mean, it's 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 just, just that's why there's all these different bands. You know, if you had one one sound through the whole thing, I think I'd want to leave after like you know yeah. 12 hours. So it's good. It's good that Pantera's on. I, I dig their records a lot, but. Uh, you know, we're on after them. Big deal. Listen to some music, move on, that's it. Good for you. Good. So you got a few more stadium arena shows with Aerosmith, and then you're going back to the States, and... We're going back. Probably we're going to record some songs with the new drummer, Mike Mangini. Mike Mangini. And, uh, the, the great Mancini. Yeah, and um, get our record out in September, and ho hopefully uh, come back here in the fall. Yeah. Get First thing I'm doing is I'm going home and getting my hair blued. Blued. I want it blue. I've inspired you. You've inspired me, unbelievable. Would that be navy blue or Vanessa blue? That was Vanessa blue, actually, so... Well, I'm not really worthy, but there you go. I must say thank you to uh, Nuno and Gary. Always nice to see these guys, especially to see them back in Europe after a break. So I'm certainly looking forward to seeing you. And this is just a little preliminary chat because, of course, when the album comes out and we've had a chance to hear some more material, then we can talk we'll in hours. more depth. And we could, hours, we could talk for hours, hours and hours and hours, couldn't we? We really could. I love talking to you guys. So let's see a little bit more of Extreme live at Donington. We're going into uh, another short break. It's the miracles of modern television. Oh, okay. So, so we got to run up there now real quick while yeah, you come around. Exactly. That's right. We go to commercial break. And then after that, we are going to be reaching uh, the finale of our festivities because we're going to be hooking up with the headliners, Aerosmith. the one and only Aerosmith. Aerosmith. So stay tuned as Headbangers Ball Monsters of Rock special continues. <laughs> 